Hi again, I'm Alan Neuschwander with Mason County Press with The Scoop. The Scoop is brought to you as always by West Shore Bank and Benton Baker Ford. We're here at the Leviathan Disc Golf Course in the Ludington School Forest, joined by Jeff Schwass and Rachel Taran. Jeff is the president. Rachel is the vice president of the Mason County Disc Golf Organization. Thank you both for being with us today. Yeah, thanks for having us. And we're here today talking about some kind of unconventional outdoor wintertime activities. Um, very important, especially during times of COVID, uh, finding unique ways to get outside and being able to, you know, be in the outdoors and socially distance and, and enjoy yourself too. And um, I don't think a lot of people probably think disc golf is a wintertime activity, but as you say, it certainly is. Yes, correct. We carry on our leagues year round here in Mason County. Um, every Sunday we meet up at Mason County Park on either Beauty or Beast and play a round of golf. Try to keep the tee pads shoveled off for safety, but yep, just like any other disc golf round, just with a few more layers of clothes and a few less discs. Sure. And for folks that aren't familiar with disc golf, can you just briefly explain the game itself, what it is? Yeah, sure. Um, basically, ball golf with a plastic disc. Okay. Uh, same type of uh, a theory for the game. You throw from a tee pad to... This, which is the basket or the target, um, in as few of shots as you can. An ace is obviously best shot available. Um, most of our courses uh, tend to be mostly par threes. So two, of course, be your birdie. Three would be your par, and then you have your bogeys from there. Sure, sure. Kind of like when I play normal golf, the bogey, think, double bogey, bogey triple bogey. bogey. That's yeah. usually where I'm at. Yeah, <laughs> yes, exactly. And. As far as the discs, I mean, these aren't just your traditional frisbee that you're outside playing at the beach with. These are specific to the game. Correct. Yes. So these are all um, discs from Discraft, Disc Golf, the best disc manufacturer. We've got our uh, putters here, which is usually a smaller disc with a little wider with a wider rim. We've got a fairway driver here. It's a uh, Shorter than a long distance driver. I've got a distance driver. And then I also have some mid range discs, which I guess would be like your irons. Mm -hmm. Each one serves a purpose. Generally, you know, uh, putters like under 300 feet and so on and so forth. You know, try to gauge the distance and the type of flight that you want for your just throw. Like, just like tra traditional golf, yeah, yep. using a different club. Yep, pretty much. Okay. And for folks that want to come out and give it a try, is there a, a good like starter kit? I'm sure yours are probably a little more advanced. You guys correct, are har correct. hardcore disc golfers. Yes, but we are. Yeah, so Discraft Disc Golf does make a starter kit. They sell them at the local Myers and I think Dunham's. And then um, PM Expeditions actually has a very large variety of used and new discs for you to go to. And the staff there is really helpful so they can help point people in the right direction. Okay, good. And when we talk about disc golf in the winter time, I'm, I'm sure, you know, just like doing anything outdoors in the winter, it's different than doing it in the summertime. So what kind of unique challenges are there to the game during the snowy winter season as opposed to coming out in July and playing? Right. So, I mean, one of a big challenge for people is that the friction difference in the ground. So your footing just isn't the same when you're throwing on normal dirt compared to on the snow. So there's a lot more standstill throwing going on in winter disc golf. Um, compared, and then there's also the layers of clothes that you're wearing that can pose a challenge for you. I definitely recommend a lot of thin layers compared to like big bulky layers to help with your movement. Okay. And the discs, uh, the discs as the snow gets deeper, um, basically either subduct or gorilla tape on the back with either yarn, ribbon, or string. So when the disc goes under the snow, that will come out of the snow and when you get up to where your shot went yep. you can find it and trace it back because um you sure hate to to lose them um <laughs> absolutely you know while you're out there and it, it it works really well um another thing this does too with your winter game is with these on there they don't fly quite as hard so it uh it really does sharpen your game actually playing in the winter time and we find a lot of our players who play all winter, their game, when we get to spring and summer, I, the, I swear that it, it's some of the best training you can do for, for a disc golf. Right. Uh, since Ludington is kind of a 
a disc golf mecca. We have the state championships here um, every year since 1996, I think. So um, there's a lot of competitive uh, people in the area here, um, and it's just another way to get you outside. Yep, and you mentioned that Mason County is kind of a mecca for disc golf now and hosts the, the championships. Um, we're here at the School Forest um, course, but there, there's other courses locally that people can choose from as, as well, right? Correct, yes. We have here at Leviathan, we have West Shore Community College, we have The Edge at Scottville Riverside Park, we have Beauty Beast and Goliath at Mason County Park. And then other private disc golf courses. Which are, there's, uh, yeah, yeah, Whiskey, Whiskey Creek. Creek. Uh, Flip City yep. is in Shelby, uh, one of the number, uh, yeah, the number, number one, one in, the country. in the country. Uh, we were able to do the state championships this last year. We had no issues with as many people as we had, and we actually set a record. So many people looking for something safe and outside to do, and we were glad we could accommodate them. And some of the things we've learned uh, while this has all gone on, we've implemented, we found out there's a lot of easier ways of running tournaments in that. So we're going to use them again this year for sure. Yeah. And for people that do want to come out and play disc golf this winter at any of the courses locally, uh, what do they need to do? Is there, are, are there green fees? Do they need to make reservations or do you just show up and play? So basically you can just show up and play. We do ask that you donate a dollar into the donation box. That's usually at the first hole of every course. Um, I recommend that they bring a shovel so that they can disc golf safely because we don't want anybody getting injured out there. But, yep, West Shore would be a good one to winter disc golf at. Here, now that the parking lot gets plowed, and then Mason County Park on either of the outer entrances are good places to go for winter golf in Ludington. Good. Now, does your organization have a website or anything where people can get more information about the game? Yeah, please like and follow us at Mason County Disc Golf Organization on Facebook. We post all of our leagues, events, and course information on that page, and uh, also disc golf scene. Great. All right. Well, Jeff, Rachel, thank you so much for joining us today. And hopefully everybody can come out and enjoy this unique winter activity and stop by one of the local shops that you'd mentioned that, that sells some of the uh, entry level discs and have a good time, you know, enjoying a, a COVID safe yeah. winter activity. So thank you both for joining us today. Thank you. Thanks for giving us the opportunity to talk about it. Yep. You're welcome. So for Mason County Press, I'm Alan Neuschwander with The Scoop. Again, it's brought to you today by West Shore Bank and Benton Baker Ford. Oh, my God. He's an animal. <laughs> 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 <laughs>